question here. It's a three-part question regarding your finishing move, the jackhammer. Um, I want you to single out three specific jackhammers. One, what's the best jackhammer you ever delivered? Two, who takes the move the best? And three, what's one jackhammer you wish you could have back for whatever reason? So we'll start with the first one. What's the best jackhammer you ever delivered? Oh, I has to be on the big show. I mean, there's no question about that. No one else comes into mind other than being able to pick a guy up when he weighs 530 pounds. I mean, show me another guy who did that. It didn't happen. Um, and he, what was your second question? Who took it the best? Yeah, who takes the move the best? That would be the big show. <laughs> because if he didn't take it the best, it never could have happened. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. I rewatched no, that the other day. 100%. It's, it's one of the coolest moments in wrestling to me. Like, I watched it the other day, and I was like, God, this got me so hyped when I was a kid. I, I love when you did that. So I'm glad that you picked that for both of those. Yeah, no question. And, and truth be told, you know, let's be honest. I, it never could have happened unless number two was the big show being the guy who could take it the best. It's just physics. It's just, you know, the, the guy is an unbelievable freak of nature as far as his athletic ability at the size that he, he has. And lastly, and, what's one jackhammer you wish you could have back for whatever Well, reason? what do you think it is? I think I know the answer. Yeah, it's probably well, against yeah, the Undertaker. I mean, you know, no, 100%. 100%. Yeah. And what people don't understand about that is that, you know, people bitch and moan about me hurting myself um, prior to getting into the ring and bleeding and gigging myself. Hey, man, I don't do that. I do that for y'all. They don't understand. I do that for them. Because I have to do something beyond human belief to get myself into the Goldberg zone. And if they think, I mean, I, I, here, here I am thinking and caring about what people say. But it, what could be the other reason for that happening other than me trying to get in that zone to provide them with the best character humanly possible? Unfortunately, I knocked myself kind of silly that night. And then hitting the turnbuckle and that post, ripping my head open, I didn't know what was going on. And my equilibrium was completely off, whatever. Anyway, it's that. Uh, that definitely makes sense. But I think you're going to redeem yourself from, all, from, from that and from WrestleMania, since I know you, you weren't stoked on that match. Like you said, I'm excited to see what you and Drew McIntyre pull off this Sunday. I think you guys are going to have a hell of a match. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Thank you so much for doing this today. I appreciate it. Ryan, honestly, I'm not sucking up to you, dude, but as long as you you care and as long as you are entertained, I'm pretty much satisfied. Well, I appreciate that very much. Have a good one, Bill. Be good, buddy.